What's up guys and welcome to a brand new Sims video. I've not played Sims for in ages and I thought I'd do a genetics challenge, but I do it with the pets. So let's go ahead and add our first pet. We're going to add a doggo. Oh my god, I want to keep you forever and forever, but I'm not allowed. Your name is going to be Ginger. Ginger Swartz. What a name. The only issue is... You're not ginger, or will you be? Let's pick your breed. One, two, three. Okay, what breed is this? Great Pioneers. Oh, interesting. So then we go to body. We go one, two, three. Oh, it's not too bad. Can I spin you around so I can see your tail, please? Thank you very much. One, a two, and a three. The same tail that you had at the beginning, I think. That didn't really change much. And then we go colour and pattern. So we've got to pick different colour patterns. So one, two. Oh, I like that one. I wanted to stay on that one. That one's really nice. Three. Actually, that's really nice. The only issue is there's weird colours. One. Oh, God, no. You look like you belong in The Simpsons. Two. Ugh. Three. Is that back to what it was? One. Two. Three. That looks okay. We also have a small issue. Hello, Astrid. So my kitty is clawing my leg. I think she wants to sleep on my desk. Say hello to Astrid, everyone. There you go. You can sleep on the desk. Is that what you want, kitty? Okay, so we're going to try the third color. One, two, three. That's not bad, actually. Final color. One, two, three. That, that's okay. That's not too bad. It could be worse. So then we go down to furs. One. Oh my god, that is horrific. <laughs> what is that? It's got like a weird, weird haircut. Two. That's oh, just a, sh a close shave. Three. Oh. It's changed so much. It's like got no fur. This is weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Pet clothing. One. Two, three. Oh, he's got like a little t-shirt on. And then his lead. One, two, three. Oh, they've got a harness on. How nice. Look at that. So that's my first doggo done. It's my first time doing the genetics challenge. So if I have done it wrong, do let me know. And the next time I do one, I'll make sure to do it correctly. So now that Ginger is complete, we actually need to do the face, I believe. So I need to go head shape. And go one, two, three. That's okay. Ears. One. That's blooming adorable. Two. Three. Nose. We've got one, two, three. And then your eyes. We have one, two, three. Ah, oh, that looks good. I'm happy with the way that's come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a second pupper in, like so. We're going to make sure that this pupper is a boy, because we had a girl dog for the first one. So your name is Sparky Bloom. What a name. It's an impressive name for a dog. Right. Breed is one, two, three. Oh my god, is that a husky? Nos Elk Shepherd. You're a big boy. Wow. I like you. I love the little pattern you've got on your head. Body. One, two, three. You're a skinny boy, it would appear. Tail. Oh, I love the curly tail. I want to keep the curly tail. One, two, three. Oh, it went back to the curly tail. Never mind, though. So I'll spin you back around so we can see. And we're going to go for the fur. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, my God. Get off that color. Three. No. No, 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 no. What has happened? What is going on? One, two, three. One, two, three. This dog looks weird. What is going on? It's all pink and stuff. First, one. Oh my goodness. Two. Oh, that looks weird. Three. Wow. Look at this lovely pink that she's got in. Pet clothing. One, two, three. Ah, oh, he's got like a little t-shirt. 
That looks adorable. So then we go to the face. We go to the head. We go one. We go two. We go three. He didn't do it that time. There we go. He did it. Oh, look at his squished face. It looks adorable. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, no. It looks like an Ewok or a gremlin. Two. Three. Oh, my goodness. Those ears are massive. One. Two. Three. Okay. One. Two. Wow, I want to leave it at that. That's awesome. Three. Here is Sparky. Let me give her a whirl so you can see. Ah, oh, yes. Look how magnificent she looks. In fact, I know I put pet clothing on. But I kind of want to take it off so that you guys can see the fur. I think that's better. I think I won't put pet clothing on. Wow. Look at the magnificent colors. So that's Sparky. And then we have Ginger, who actually just looks like a normal dog. Who has no fur. So this is going to be interesting, actually. I feel like if I had another normal dog like Ginger, it'd come out pretty normal. But I'm a little bit worried. Because our Sparky, bless her. Or oh, bless him? Bless him, sorry. Our Sparky, bless him. Um, he's a bit pink. He looks very fabulous. So let's go in here. We're going to play with genetics. We're going to add Sparky. And we're going to add Ginger. Oh my goodness, guys. That may be the most adorable puppy you will ever see in your life. I want to find this puppy in real life and buy it. I want to bring this puppy home. What do you think, Astrid? Astrid doesn't care. She's asleep on my desk. Oh my goodness. That puppy is adorable. Look at you. Right. Whose eyes have you got? Let's finish that. Let's have a look. Have you got your mum's eyes? Uh, yeah, you have. You've got your mum's eyes. You come away with your mum's eyes. You literally... Do you have anything from your dad? You don't really have anything from your dad. Oh, you have his curly tail. You have it. Look. Yeah, look. Look at the tail there. And then look at the tail there. They have the curly tail. That's about it. Do you have the ridiculous... Oh! The curly tail and the ridiculously big ears. You've got those from your dad. The colouring and everything else you've got from your mum. What is your name? Pumpkin. Oh my god. It's called Pumpkin. I can't cope. It is absolutely adorable. So what we have to do now, we have the puppy. And he's absolutely gorgeous. We have to make him into an adult. There we go. Wow. Look at you. You look exactly like your mum. Look, look at that. Ah. The snout is a little bit different. The ears are different and the tail's different. But you've got the big floppy ears from your dad. And you've got your dad's tail. And you actually don't have any of the crazy, like, purpley pink colouring. So that looks pretty good. I am impressed. And you've got, yeah, your eyes are from your mum as well. This dog is very adorable and I want to adopt it. Hopefully you enjoyed this random... Pet Genetics Challenge. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn notifications on so you know when my videos go live. And I'll see you guys in the next one.